I couldn't find my uh, basement hoodie, so I guess I'm wearing my Dragon Ball jacket. It's been a while. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. It's been a minute since I made a video. I, uh, I understand that. Um... And I would make a gaming video right now. I don't even know how the fuck to start this. You guys are probably hearing this all over the internet right now. All over Facebook, Twitter, Google, Instagram, no matter what the fuck you're on. Everything that's been happening, it's everywhere. Of course it is. People spread the word faster than... I guess I could start this video off by saying that this is probably... And I'm not even just saying personally. This is literally the worst year I ever lived on. 2020 is the worst. It really is. It did start off pretty shitty. Um, in terms of my personal situations. And I feel like the moment those happened, I mean, everything just went into order afterwards. I mean, with it, it started off with the fires in Alaska, with everything happening there. And, you know, it, I, I mean, considering the fact that it didn't have anything to do with us here i mean it's still a wildfire it was a fire that nobody could can control so i still felt bad i mean koalas were getting burnt up like like kangaroos didn't have places to go and people were dying like yeah i did uh put my support and you know i i did pray for those people but like it just got worse for moment we thought everything was fine fires burnt down chaos was low Kobe Bryant died out of fucking absolutely nowhere bro I mean like it was just the most random thing to have ever happened like it just it just happened and it all took us by surprise Was it Kobe that died in that helicopter? But it was his own daughter and a couple other people. And it's just like. It's like, fuck, dude. I thought it couldn't get any fucking worse. A virus in China starts to form. And we were like, oh, psh, it's in China. Why are we worried? Like, I mean, why are we scared? This virus tiptoed its little ass to the entire globe. No one expected it. We were all on lockdown. It looked apocalyptic. You couldn't leave the house. You couldn't even go to the fucking grocery store without a face mask on. And then the moment we thought things could get better. And that we could try to fix ourselves. Another black man dies from police brutality. I'm sure you ever, I, I'm sure you guys have heard of George Floyd at this fucking point. But now, the earth was just boiling at the beginning. Now, it's on fucking fire. It's chaos you guys are probably looking at me wondering why i'm not making a gaming video or making trying to make any type of video same thing with red and it's, it's because these type of things can really hit you no matter who you are as a person 
and this whole thing with George Floyd, it really fucked me up. I didn't expect it. Last night I had a panic attack about it. I literally couldn't move from my bed. I was shaking. I, I was in tears. And you're probably wondering, well, why are you in tears? Because it's a fear that I've always had that my the color of my skin color the, the color of my skin is going to get me killed. Now, don't get me wrong. There are there are police officers out there that that do respect people of color that do not see like that don't see it like that that actually like. That, that are actually respectful and will actually take the time to to not like make you afraid but I had multiple people in school say racist shit to me that I didn't that I've never even met or knew before uh, that meant it actually meant it oh god the darkness <laughs> I do have friends that like say the n-word to me or say shit to me and honestly i take it as a joke because i don't take any offense to that as long as you don't really mean it like i know the difference between someone joking about it and like you actually meaning it like you actually putting emphasis to it and it's actually a threat when i know it's a threat then i have a reason to be upset but otherwise like like i don't actually care i'm chill like that i'm laid back like that but i've always been afraid that one day I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna get stopped by an officer and that's just, that's gonna be it. And you're probably thinking, well, you're overthinking this. You think, you think George overthought this? Do you think the day that he got brutally murdered by an officer was gonna be his last day? He didn't think twice about that. Why? Because it's something that you don't expect. Now, don't get me wrong. Racism is very much alive still, even before all of this. But now it's just even worse. Racism, if it was a fire, was here. Now, it's back all the way up here. I had friends out there fighting for me today. Because I told them that I'm afraid of this. That's something that I've always been scared of. But the fact that I'm afraid of police brutality isn't the reason why I'm making this video. I'm making this video to let you guys know to always keep your head up no matter what the fuck is going on. I know right now the world is on fucking fire. It's chaotic. I know it doesn't look like anything's going to get any better. But take this time to be there for your friends and family and the people who need you and tell them to, to keep their heads up because this is the only way we're going to make it through this. It's the only way. We're not going to get through this any otherwise. We need to keep our heads up. And we need to stick together. Because you clearly heard our president's comment. <laughs> He don't got our back. Sorry to say it, but I don't think he's supporting us at all. I think he's just making it worse, if I'm honest with you. He just, he doesn't know what he's doing. But, no matter what happens, be there for the people who need you. Keep your heads up. We're gonna make it through this. We will to make uh, I mean there's really nothing else I could say other than the fact that you will be getting a, another video from me on Tuesday um it's it's an exciting one it's one that I've been wanting to put together for a while just to, you know um brighten everyone's day and to get everything back in order but um I just I needed to say it um just the fact that we're in this situation, I know it's hard. And to be honest, 
it's been really fucking hard for me. My the start of 2020 was shit. And it's still kind of shit, if I'm honest. But I'm slowly getting my life back together. And we're all going to get our lives back together. That much I promise. So, you guys keep your heads up. I'm going to go for the day. Peace out.